found not one, but two Batgirls here at the Superhero Fun Run in North Park. Now, this answers a question I've always had as to if there was backups for these positions, and apparently there are. <laughs> one more time? It's like Santa Claus. There's more than one. Now, how does Bruce feel about you guys both coming out here to participate in this run all the way from Gotham City? He's completely supportive. 100%. 100%. Yes. 100%. Behind us. Yes. Now, did you bring the Batmobile or the Batplane? Yes. <laughs> Both. Both. Yeah. <laughs> yep. We weren't sure she what did, parking yeah. was going to be like, so we wanted to make sure that we were covered on both fronts. So. Fantastic. Now, is this your first time participating in the Superhero Fun Run? It is my first. Yes. Yeah. And at what time just did you guys come in? About 8.15. Oh, wait. What, our running time? Or yes. what time did oh, we get here? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh yeah. 8.15. <laughs> like uh, 47 minutes. Yeah, I think we it was about... We, yeah. Fantastic. All right. Thank you both. Hi, this is Anthony from Unsung here at the Superhero Fun Run in North Park. And I'm here with Logan of the X-Men who just completed the Superhero Fun Run. Uh, how was the run? The run was quite good. It was nothing like uh, what we do in the X-Men, but uh, strenuous nonetheless. So the, uh, the training room definitely helped with this, right? Absolutely. I would say that uh, Xavier's psychic abilities really helped get me through that last 2K. Oh, fantastic. Now, uh, for those of you watching who don't know, uh, one of Logan's abilities is a healing factor that helps him recover from injuries a lot faster than any other person normally would. Uh, Logan, do you think that your healing ability helped you complete this run? I would say that uh, the folks handing out water, including my young assistant here, Logan Light, uh, really helped us get through. So. Water is uh, the best healing medicine available. Oh, fantastic. Uh, now, is this your first time completing this run? It is not. No, we did this uh, two years ago at the inaugural Pittsburgh Superhero Run. Oh, fantastic. Uh, and what time did you come in at? Uh, just under 30 minutes, 29 minutes. Fantastic. Well, this is Anthony for Logan and the Superhero Fun Run. Thank you. Uh, and we found two more very known superheroes here at the Superhero Fun Run. It's Raphael and Michelangelo, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. They look like they just completed the run. They're nice and sweaty, and the sun has definitely turned them not green. Now, tell me, guys, uh, living in the sewers, did that help you prepare for this at all? Oh, yeah, running around in the sewers, man. You got to run away from the rats. Got to run away from the rats, everything else. You got to slide all across the place. Wasn't it fun? It was a lot of fun, yeah. We had to avoid all the sewage when it starts raining, so we got to run the opposite way kind of thing. Don't Definitely prepared us. Yeah, no poo. Fantastic. And I noticed there's only two of you. Where's the other two? Right One's there. One's right there. And the, the other, other one's right holding there. their baby. They're just being a little shy. Uh, uh, understandable. Not everyone likes cameras. Yes. Uh, and what time did you guys come in at? I came in at just under 33 minutes, I think it was. I'm 35. Okay, fantastic. Is this your first superhero fun run? Yes. Yes, it's my first run ever, actually. So. And would you do it again? Absolutely. Most definitely. Fantastic. Well, thank you. And standing with me here at the superhero fun run is one of the very few women on the Green Lantern Corps. And she's human, which is a double bonus. Uh, now, when you were given the powers by the Guardians of Oa, uh, did they know you would be using them to do a superhero fun run? No, they didn't. No? And could you say that your powers helped you or gave you an advantage over the rest of the competition in this run? No. And at what time did you come in at? Um, almost 37 minutes. Not bad. Did you have to blast anything out of your way on the path, or was that already taken care of for you? That was taken care of by the other Green Lantern that was in front of me. Fantastic. I found two uh, local celebrities here at the Superhero Fun ha, Run. Jockstrap! <laughs> Mikey and Big Bob of the Kiss Morning Freak Show. Uh, what is your involvement in the Superhero Fun Run? To dress in underwear. The end. <laughs> no, really, this is our second year doing this. We get to judge the costume contest, which is pretty much the hardest part of this whole thing. And yeah, we don't run. <laughs> we just show up in our underwear and tell people who has the best costume, and that's pretty much all we do here, though. But it's for a good cause, and I don't know, people enjoy us, and I really like your I like shiny your cape. cape. <laughs> Ooh, peekaboo! <laughs> 
uh, how many of you? <laughs> How many years have you guys helped with this event? Uh, this is our second year. Second year. The first year we didn't really know what it was all about, so we showed up in regular clothes, and everybody was just looking at us like we had disappointed the entire city. They're like, "Where's your costume?" So this year, I don't know. We just wore underwear, and we're like, "Air hey, underwear costume." So, yeah, second year though. This year though, and hopefully, many more to follow. I sit, I sit around my house in briefs all the time, so this just gave me a reason to go outside. For a good cause now, for, for a good cause. For a good cause. For the kids. Now, you said you judged the costume contest. Can you give us any insights as to who you're thinking of this year? Uh, it's, it's hard because there's some people who you can tell just went to the store and bought their costumes, so you don't want to give them too much credit as opposed to somebody who made their own costume. Um, we like old people, so old people definitely have a warm spot in our head. If, if an old person like over 60 has a good costume, they're probably going to win. Um, there's a guy who's like half Batman, but with the Transformers head, he's pretty good. Um, there's some girl in a really good Captain America costume. I don't know, just we like sweaty old people pretty much. So if you're sweaty and old and you got a good costume, you, you could be in our top three. Good to know. And your insights? I like old people too. <laughs> Well, good luck uh, judging that costume or contest and picking a winner. And thanks for talking to us. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs>